So last week you saw us leaving Trial Bay as we headed back down south towards WA with our new set itinerary. So sticking to a set itinerary is definitely not our thing. We, we don't enjoy uh, the pressure of having to move on from a destination if we like it or traveling on a hot and windy windy day so the car gets a smashing. Everest hated that. Um, it's the first time we've had a set itinerary in, in nearly two years and yeah, not, not for us. No. So after going through New South Wales, we went straight through Victoria and we landed in South Australia. And yeah, we found the first of these little towns that we would have really loved to have stayed longer. Classic so, example of yeah. the itinerary thing. We would have loved to have stayed here longer. Yeah, so let's check it out. We've just arrived in Waikari, South Australia for an overnight stop where we can park under these silos on the edge of the Murray River. This town looks awesome so we're off to have a look around. Big water pump. That's cool. That's the motor and then the drive valve are just missing. I assume it's got something to do with the Murray River which is just peeking through the trees down there. That barge just runs as a cable backwards and forwards over the river all day. How awesome does today look? Found a little city trail walk, no cliff, cliff walk. <laughs> Not much of a cliff, but it's cool to go for a little walk. This is the old pump house. Wow. Is it old or is it still working? Uh, I don't know. Still so I just want to point out that when I looked on the map on where this walk takes us, it goes through Snake Alley. Yes, Snake Alley. <laughs> Doesn't it, Christopher? Snake Alley. That's like 100 feet from where we've got the van park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we found the cliff. I wasn't ready for that walk. Yeah. Got the huffs. Look how flooded everything is still. We didn't realise it. The Murray was still so flooded. Oh, we found more stairs. Might have to take my jump off. South Australia is turning it on. Yeah, I think it might be even 20 degrees, maybe. <laughs> oh, cool. Wow, look at that. Yeah, wow. Oh, it goes up higher. Yeah, we're being premature. Let's get to the top. <laughs> There we go, made it to the top. Check that out. It's a bit brown. So much water lying around outside of the banks. That goes all the way down there. Oh my god. <laughs> Cringe. Just living his best life down on the riverboat. I told you I wasn't lying. Yes, that is what that says. There's the silos up there, that's where we're staying the night. I think it's a 24 hour stop, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No toilet, but a good place to pull off and you can look out over the river. Yeah, good view. And do this awesome and little walk. cliff walk for a snake gully. <laughs> yeah, wow. Not sure about that part. We 
guys that do these are so talented. I mean, I can paint, but not to that scale. Just the scale of being up there, you wouldn't know where you were in the painting. It's insane. What happens when it's raining outside and there's laundry to be done? <laughs> so just moving on from the fact that obviously we've got the Chinese washing um, in there behind us because it's raining. The best thing is... We haven't got any leaks. We are leak free. Yes. We've had quite a few bits of rain now and not a single drop of rain on the inside of the van. So it's Literally the first time in a year and a half that... When it rains, it hasn't come inside. Yeah, it's great. We've, we've got thunder and lightning happening outside and it was pouring just before. We had to wait until uh, the sound dropped no, so, no we could, stopped. so we could film this. But yeah, no leaks. So thank you very much, Windsor. You finally fixed the problem. Happy days. Yeah. stop for my least favorite hobby again bane of our existence petrol stations fuel stop toilet stop yeah yeah chris I, you wouldn't have heard that because he's not on mic but chris just said better get used to it because we're heading south which means the null of war again better not be three dollars a liter that's all i can say of the toilet? The one you're in? No. It says sex toilet. <laughs> Maybe that's why the next door's doors ripped off got a bit crazy. So we've just found out that we're actually underway. Yeah, we just went over a weight bridge, just a random one on the side of the road. And we're full of water and we're only 2300 kilos. Woohoo! <laughs> All this time we were like, oh cop, quick, quick. <laughs> <laughs> now we knew we were close, so we just didn't know yeah, if we were just over. Plus we've collected a fair bit of shit on the way, so... Yeah. But we're under. Legal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. We're legal. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad view from the caravan this morning. You would not believe that yesterday we had 85 k an hour winds and the caravan was almost getting shaken. We were literally, Mother Nature was trying to remove us from the planet yesterday. <laughs> and now it looks like a mirror. It's very pretty. So this is the Sojourner Jetty. And that's about all I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the Sojourner Wharf? Top attraction. A what? Or the... What, is, what other word is there? Uh, I don't know, don't put me on the spot like that. Jetty, wharf. Pier. 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 Could be a pier. It'd be cool if we saw a whale today. Yeah. It'd be cool if a whale came past now. It's so still. This looks like something out of a movie right now. What movie? I don't know, just a movie. Probably a shark movie. <laughs> Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ripple over there, he's coming. Sejuna. Caravan Park's undergone a refit from what we've read and it's very tidy. 
bathrooms are immaculate and new. Giant big rain shower head and a little pool, which is meant to be heated, but that's debatable. That's a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got normal caravan sites and then the waterfront sites, which we got one right Full, in the corner down there. Fully fenced, so it's pretty secure. Yeah, yeah, there's six foot fence all the way around, which is good because there has been a little bit of riffraff walking past. <laughs> but hey, what can you do about that? We are tucked in the corner and that one tree you wouldn't believe was throwing all of its nuts at us yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it to get a window. Oh, it's actually got pine cones. Huh? It's actually pine cones. Oh, it's throwing pine cones at us. It was rather hectic. Even blew over Stinky. It's the first time he's been knocked yeah, over in the wind. First time the Starlink's been knocked over in the wind. <laughs> what a magical day though, eh? Shame it's a work day and now I'm about to go inside and work all day. So it's been a while since we've been at the water filling station, but we, we were camping, the town just turned the water off and we didn't have any water in the tanks. So Chris is setting up the, what do we call it? Bladder again. Yeah. Last time he did this, there was water explosion. Oh, so. I haven't done this for ages. Do you remember what you're doing? No. Is the car going to get wet? Get, get ready for a flood. <laughs> so, if you can see in the background, there is a digger, and the town just lost its water about a half an hour ago. We so don't know, we don't know if he's the culprit or not. Yeah, it's quite coincidental. Anyway, still seems to be working here, which is good. Well, we, we don't know that yet. Wow, true. What's wrong? Oh, this fucking thing! Absolute cocks. Language. I'm not a fan of these stupid things. It's called a hose. Something. 146. I can usually get 150 in there, but. Oh, four, four litres short. <laughs> What'd that cost us? Not bad for a dollar. Dollar? Sweet. Hey guys, we're just jumping in here in live time because we have some exciting news that we wanted to share with you. So, the pod is. For sale! For sale! We're selling the pod. Yes. So, by the time you see this, it'll be on marketplace and i don't know maybe caravan yeah sales. wherever you I can sell know. stuff wherever but we'll drop the links to all the ads in the in the description um if you got any other questions just email us at hello at lentil bit wiser if you're interested or drop it in the comments drop it below. in the comments yeah. yeah she's for sale yeah she's well documented history obviously if you've been following us for a while you know everything about this van we haven't hidden anything uh, if you have only just stumbled across our channel today, there's a lot of old videos to go back through. And see where she's uh, been. Yeah, but yeah, channel's still keeping on going. Don't panic. We've still got the travel bug. Uh, we just need to sell the pod. Time for an upgrade. To move to the next step. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the video. And uh, yeah, Cheers. see you later. Cheers, guys.